Hi guys, welcome to XVPen channel. This is Mario. Today I'm going to show you how to draw using Photoshop on Artist 13 second generation. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the right driver settings for yourself first. And then I'm going to share some Photoshop tips to help you optimize your workflow and improve your efficiency. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. First, connect your display to the laptop or computer. Next, get the driver ready. You can find the download link from the XPPen official website. Also, I will put the link in the description for your convenience. Search the product you're using on the official website of XPPen. Today I'm using the Artist 13 second generation, so I click on this one and go to the details page. Find the driver button on the top of the page and click. You will see some driver software for each system on the right side. Just find the one you need. Here, I choose the latest version of the Windows system. Click Download, open the zip, install the driver, and good to go. After installation, open the driver, and we can see that there are three main sections on the left side, which are the work area, pen settings, and shortcut keys. First, let's look at the screen part. You have four options like full screen, customize size, identify. Set full screen means to set the entire screen as your working area. Customize screen area means to set the size of the working area according to your needs. Identify is used to distinguish the primary screen and the secondary screen. Similar to the previous one, you can change the working area of the display. It's very flexible, full screen or customized, just the way you like it. Rotation. You can also use the display horizontally or vertically, according to your user habits. Just choose the direction you need. Let's move to the pen settings. There are two buttons on the pen which can switch between pen or eraser mode, or work as a right mouse button, or as a shortcut key you need. Click on Customize, and here you can set the shortcut key for your pen. For example, press Ctrl S and click Save. When you press the button on the pen, it will save directly. There is a pattern for pressure settings. So you can change the pressure by moving the button like this. There is a mouse mode on the right. Usually we don't need it, because if you check here, it will work just like a normal mouse without pressure sensitivity. Similar to the pen settings, you can set shortcut keys for your display too. Like I'm using the Artist 13 second generation now, and it has nine buttons. So I can choose nine buttons I usually use to speed up my workflow. After all these settings are done, you're good to go. If you're worried that it's troublesome to set up like this every time you go to a new work environment, then you can get it done once and forever. Click on the setting icon on the upper right corner and export your settings and save. So next time you can just import the settings and don't need to set it up again. Next, we open Photoshop. Go under Preferences menu and set up the performance first. Usually, we let Photoshop use between 85% and 95%. Keep PS at its best performance. Then, there's history and cache. History states at 50 will be too much. To have a better performance, keep it down to 25 or 30. Next, it has a scratch disks for temporary storage while Photoshop is running and it's the C drive by default. But C drive is not enough for PS. If you have more than one drive, you can specify additional scratch disks. This will be shown on Windows, so we can deselect it and choose the D drive. After doing this, there is another function that is highly recommended. It's the color picker. Here's a HUD color picker, and you can choose the hue strip and hue wheel. It has a small, medium, or large from the drop-down list. Let's see the difference. Under Hue Wheel, we press Alt-Shift and right-click or the right button on the stylus and it will show up. And now I'm going to talk about brush and brush settings. Choose Window, Brushes. Here we have General Brushes or Dry Media Brushes. We choose Hard Round. But we can see it hasn't pressure level and size change. But when we choose hard round pressure opacity, it has different sizes by different pressure. 
Also, other brushes have different effects you want. By right click, we can change the direction, the size, and the hardness of the brush. Of course, we can make this happen by the shortcut key. Press Alt and right button of the stylus and move the cursor leftward and rightward like this. Horizontally move to change the size and vertically move to change the hardness. We can draw straight lines with the help of the Shift key. Press Shift and draw. We can see the lines here are all straight. That's all for today's tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about drawing or also want to learn how to use other software with the drawing display, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.